With hearts full of faith and gratitude, we now make this act of consecration to St. Joseph. Hail St. Joseph, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. God our Father entrusted to you His only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ Jesus became man. One with our Lord Jesus and the Blessed Mother, we honor you with sincere love and veneration. We choose you this day to be our Father, our guardian and our protector. God our Father has allowed us to dedicate this year to your honor as we joyfully celebrate the 500th anniversary of Christianity in our land. With grateful hearts we recognize you as a great gift of God to us to be our companion, teacher, model, and protector in this Jubilee year. We come to you to consecrate our people, the Church of the Philippines, our dioceses, parishes, and families. With fatherly love and care, you provided for and built the life of the Holy Family of Nazareth. We humbly beg you to bless all our undertakings and help us to build the Church, the body of Jesus Christ, in obedient faith, steadfast love, and unwavering hope in our loving Father. You were always ready to listen and obey the Father's will and protected Jesus from all dangers. Deliver us from all dangers that destroy the gospel values and teaching in our land. Protect us all as we battle against all moral and physical illnesses in our society. We entrust you, all our families, and that all fathers may be true to their vocation as mirrors of love of our Father in heaven. We entrust you, all our works, to help our brothers and sisters in their sufferings. To you, St. Joseph, after Jesus and Mary, we constantly our body and soul with all that we are and have. Saint Joseph, show yourself to us as a father. Guide us on the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. mercy look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord Amen. 
All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Within the year, we will have a chance to reflect on the richness of the significance of St. Joseph in our life. But for today, two things. First, what St. Joseph means to us as guardian of the Holy Family, as patron of the Universal Church in our time, in this time of difficulties, this time of pandemic. And second, a reflection on Saint Joseph the worker. Today we come to Saint Joseph in this act of consecration. It is our way of saying Saint Joseph, just as God has appointed you to care for the Holy Family, today we are telling him Make us as well your family. Make us your family. Just as even the Holy Family experienced difficult times. We know Jesus was born there in the manger. That was not easy. We know that they were to flee to Egypt when the life of Jesus was in danger. That was not easy. We know that the journey took several weeks. That was not easy. That's why today, you know, when, when we hear people talk to us about difficult times, about the danger of what COVID may bring, about raising a child, sending him to school, about where to get the next food. When we come to Joseph, he would make us aware Yes, we may be in difficult times, but He is with us, and with Him is Jesus and Mary. And if we can only cling to that faith and believe, COVID may be still around, but it will pass. I know it's not easy to raise a family. So many times a father would open up to me and would say, where did we go wrong? We did our best, but my child, you know, is walking the wrong path. I don't have the answer, but I can only say, I pray with you. Come to St. Joseph. Today, as we celebrate this Mass, and as we in the diocese, in the archdiocese, make this act of consecration, and we thank the Lord for our families because we are here because of them. And if we have no chance to choose our families because we do not choose our parents, we do not choose our brothers and sisters, 
we can only pray that each one of us may be an instrument to bring about good in the family, to bring about renewal for the better, to bring about holiness and love and harmony. Let me go to the final point. Today being Labor Day and St. Joseph being the patron saint of workers. St. Joseph, as a patron of the Universal Church, Pius IX said, Just as the bird is born to fly, man is born to work. We thank the many workers who know that this indeed is an expression of love. How many millions of Filipinos work abroad, separated physically from their families? But this is in the name of love. In the name of love, no, this sacrifice being distanced, being away. We salute them and today we pray for them. How many of our brothers and sisters today as I speak are in the hospitals working? They know of the dangers in this time of COVID, our frontliners, but they do this in the name of love. We shall youth them. How many of our mothers sacrificed working in the home, doing seemingly menial works and yet very significant this they do in the name of love what a beautiful way today to realize work is indeed an expression of love Bow your head for God's blessing. With Bishop Tony, Bishop Rudong, we give you the threefold blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of Jesus was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May He, by His redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Viva Señor San Jose!